This is the University of Arizona's Biosphere 2 Tropical Forest Biome, where research addresses big questions about tropical forests and climate change. In this video, I'm doing a survey to see how many of the tree species in this forest emit a gas from their leaves called isoprene. Isoprene is a powerful antioxidant, and its emission helps plant leaves to deal with heat stress. Its name may be unfamiliar to you, but isoprene is actually one of the main components that gives the Smoky Mountains in the eastern U.S. their characteristic blue haze. The trees in Biosphere 2 have lived in a hot greenhouse for over 20 years. Many species have died off. The characteristics of surviving trees might reflect those that will be favored in natural tropical forests as they face higher temperatures from global climate warming. I think isoprene emission might be one of these important characteristics. So I'm collecting branches from every tree species inside Biosphere 2. The idea is to see which species emit isoprene and whether the proportion of isoprene emitters has increased over time. In Biosphere 2, I can collect branches and carry them directly to a high-tech gas analysis lab. In the lab, I cut the branch under water to ensure that it can continue drinking, and I coax its leaves into a branch enclosure bag. Then I can start a measurement. The bag sits below a red and blue light source, the type of light that leaves use for photosynthesis. Clean air is pumped into the bag, and the air coming out is piped into this archaic looking but highly advanced machine which can measure gases at parts per trillion concentrations. And a readout is delivered to the computer screen. Here we're looking at a live readout, which I've sped up slightly, from one of the branch enclosures. The green line represents isoprene. We can see that the concentration is steadily increasing inside the bag. This plant is definitely an emitter. From my survey, I have found that about 47% of trees in this forest emit isoprene, which is not unusual for a tropical forest. However, by combining my survey with data from previous studies, I've been able to determine that as species have gone extinct in this forest, the proportion of isoprene emitting trees has significantly increased. This suggests that isoprene emission is an important characteristic that has allowed the tree species we see today to persist in this hot environment. The emission of isoprene has many effects on the atmosphere, including forming aerosols that cause water to condense and rain to fall. That could be good news if forest emissions increase in the future, because the extra rainfall could also help plants to cope with higher temperatures. 